Edith Burrell, Melody Charter, Larry Davis, Darrell Igus, Brandis Kemp, Bruce Mahler, Michael Richards, John Rock, and I am Jack Burns, and welcome to the show. Okay, I took off. I took off the uh, took off the sunglasses tonight because I wanted to prove I'm not always blitzed. And I also want to tell you that I want you to see the eyes, real honest eyes. And when I tell you, I've always been straight with you. And I'm telling you, I think this is our hottest show. And this sketch, the opening one, it is as always for you. Carter felt ill when his campaign stood still and in panic tried to explain. But the voters didn't care, they had had it up to there. Besides, they needed someone to blame. Then a new force came along, said the liberals had been wrong. What we need is a leader with nerve. Then on election, you told them they were right Now you've got what you deserve Like those politicians Double dealers Special interests Faithless healers See young men Lush fun scandals, corporate payoffs. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. It's the 80s, Ronnie Reagan horror probably have a phone. Oh, Brad, this place looks evil. I feel sinister forces at work. Janet, you're getting paranoid. You shouldn't have smoked that joint. <laughs> They're probably just a bunch of old hippies. I'm Brad Miner. Uh, this is my old lady, Janet. Uh, we were on our way to an anti-nuke rally when our car broke down. I wondered if you had a phone we can use. Come in. You're just in time. We're having a little rally of our own. Sounds great. Uh, see, I, I told you they were cool. And you were worried. I would like, if I may, to tell you a most unusual tale. The dark clouds of political change hung heavy on the horizon as Brad and Janet, two bright, average, liberal-minded kids, made their way one Friday night to an anti-nuke rally, unaware of the bizarre events about to befall them. Oh, Brad, I'm frightened. Janet, 
Brad, I'm really scared. Janet, let me handle this. Don't worry. Hey, you call this a rally? Where's the wine, the cheese? Where's Jackson Brown? <laughs> I'm afraid you won't be attending your precious little rally this evening. There's been enough money wasted on worthless social programs. Your kind had your chance. And what did that get us? Rising inflation, killers on probation, sexual titillation. Maybe he's right. Maybe it was our fault. But we meant well. Hmm. What went wrong? It's been a nation. You seek direction. And so you turn it on. Get your hands on a gun. And close your mind up tight. It's a simple answer that even you can understand. Let's fight the big one again. Let's fight the big intelligent conversation with these right-wingers. Brad, please, let's get out of here. Damn it, Janet. Now let's keep our minds open. After all, these people do have a lot of power. How do you do? I see you've met my faithful Vice President, I'm sure he would deny, but I know he'd like to be the White House President. Don't be put off by what you've read. I'm not a power man, you love but you should just feel relieved that the world is safe. Don't forget who pushes the button. Oh! Just 
and arch conservative, anti-intellectual chief executive from California. <laughs> Let me tell you the score. I think liberals are a bore. All they do is sit and complain. I'm a man of action. I'm aligned with any faction. How do you think I won the campaign? I'm just an arch-conservative, anti-intellectual, chief executive from California. <laughs> so try it our way. Way! It's not as bad as they say. Say! Well, I think our party may just suit you. I've been um, making a man, Ooh. a Republican. Oh. I hope for America's future. I'm just an arch-conservative, anti-intellectual, chief executive from California. I'm Brad Miner. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my old lady, Janet. I'll show them. Tay. Their car broke down on their way to an anti-nuke rally. Oh. How unfortunate. Um, you'll, um, you'll have to stay the night. Uh, of course, you're married. Well, no. Oh, we don't believe a relationship is made or broken by just a little piece of paper. Oh, how, how liberated you are, how, um, bohemian. <laughs> of course, you're, uh, you're probably no strangers to, to group sex. Hey, we don't have to stand here and listen to that. Brad, please. No, it excites me. Brad, how, how tactless you are, how, how hostile, how... <laughs> <laughs> How misinformed. My administration could use a man like you. Oh, yeah. uh, you're wasting your time. We've heard that song and dance before. Pity. That's what's wrong with this country. Everyone's so cynical. Yeah. Why can't the American people just trust their leaders? of you to crash the party. Do you think I'd miss this bash just because you didn't invite me? <gasps> Mr. President. It's not you. We're ready whenever you are. My friends, tonight I unveil my grand plan for America's future. <laughs> After years of experimentation, 
I have finally done it. I have created the ultimate conservative. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> and we created him. Oh. We gave him life. He's a reflection of everything we want this country to be. Oh. 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 The poor and oppressed people of this country must continue their heroic struggle of liberation against the racist, fascist dogma and white lies perpetrated by the privileged protagonist of the imperialistic power structure, and I'm talking to you, Grandma! There must be some mistake. This, this can't be my creation. I took no... Well, that's where you're wrong, Mr. President. What? He is your creation, oh, born of your narrow-minded, moralistic viewpoints. Janet, but, but how did that happen? I... It's regretful! You are forgetful, but the revolution has never died. You can't suppress it, but not destroy it. Take it from me, you know I tried. was easy back then. And the students were marching. And the country was watching. Let's fight the system again. Let's fight the system again. Pull out the guard. And then we'll make us unite. to war. is the Friday edition with your correspondent, Melanie Turner. Good evening. I'm Melanie Chardoff, and these are tonight's top stories. Ronald Reagan announced eight of his cabinet members this week, and there were few surprises. However, for those hopefuls who were not named, the Reagan selections came as a bit of a shock. I don't understand it, said Ollie Maxwell of the South Bronx. When the dude was campaigning here in September, he promised me and my friends those jobs. And now he goes out and names a bunch of rich white guys instead. <laughs> the nation's ba banks on Wednesday raised the prime lending rate to 20%. Economists are predicting that the 20% rate, the highest since last April's recession, will have a devastating impact on our economy. However, the Chase Manhattan Bank says it doesn't care. All it's trying to do is get into the Guinness Book of World, world you know, this isn't an easy job. <laughs> the Chase Manhattan Bank says it doesn't care. All it's trying to do is get into the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah. 
Nancy Reagan told reporters this week that she is against gun control and, in fact, owns a tiny little gun herself. <laughs> Nancy then displayed the gun by driving it into the backyard of her Pacific Palisades home. <laughs> the Ku Klux Klan is heavily armed and growing more dangerous every day. That according to a series of investigative reports published this very week. Meanwhile, Klan members rallied in Nashville, Tennessee, where they attempted to participate in that city's annual Christmas parade. Defending the propriety of this, a Klan spokesman said, the Ku Klux Klan has a lot in common with Santa Claus. We wear robes, we like to work at night when people are asleep, and most adult Americans still refuse to believe we really exist. More news right after this. Give it to me, Benny. Give it to me, he sighed. Lester looked down at his lover and shook hard. Hardly able to contain his excitement, he fumbled recklessly with the buttons on his shirt. Go ahead, Benny, he moaned. Pistol whip me with your hook. Breathing, his breathing came harder now. He felt like a teenager again. Brooke Shields is to literature. What Anita Bryant is to gay rights. Well, congratulations are in order for actress Patty Davis, who this week signed an exclusive six-figure contract with NBC. Stated NBC talent scout Tab Winkle, I saw her in a one-act play in West Covina, and she really stole the show. After she signed the contract, we discovered that she was also the daughter of Ronald and Nancy Reagan. Wow, we had no idea. <laughs> and in other television news, don't let it be said that ABC relies upon sex to gain its high ratings. An ABC spokesman contends that they are committed to presenting serious drama. And to prove that, ABC will offer a remake of Rod Serling's classic, Requiem for a Heavyweight. <laughs> And finally, as we all know, John Lennon was killed in New York City this past week. That millions of people around the world are bound together in their sorrow over his death is a tribute to his life. In the end, we realized, although we wanted to express some words to convey our feelings, that our words would be inadequate to do that. So instead, we will let John Lennon's words once again speak for us all. Channel 26, Jamaica's public broadcasting station, presents everyone's favorite island chef, that dude with the food, Nat E. Dredd, the Rasta Gourmet. I and I am Nat E. Dredd, the Rasta Gourmet. And today we make a popular Jamaican delicacy called fish a la bab male. To begin with, we need bab male. <laughs> just a little joke, man, to keep ratings high. All right, now, just before we prepare to cook, first we must relax. How do we relax? With a massage? No, 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 no. 
Jacuzzi? No, 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 no. Give me ganja. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me ganja. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, you bald Ah, now, 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 I am so relaxed now, man. All right, let's get cooking, man. Now, where is that fish at? I know it is around here somewhere. Ah. It's not in there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Guess what, man? No fish. But I did find Bob Marley. La, 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 la. All right, all right. Maybe we we'll make that next week, man. So instead, we'll make something that we consider a staple food here in Jamaica peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ah, yes. Any good sandwich begins with bread. But not white bread, no, 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 no. Not rye bread, no, 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 no. Give me wheat bread, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me wheat bread, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And the smoothest peanut butter. And the sweetest jelly jelly, man. Ah, but no sandwich is complete without that one special ingredient. Is it oregano? No, 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 no. Is it paprika? No, 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 no. Give me ganja! Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me ganja! All right, now. We just put a pinch of ganja on the sandwich. There is only one way to enjoy this Jamaican delicacy. Do we boil it? No, no, no. Do we bake it? No, no, no. no. We smoke it. Peanut butter is so smooth, man. See you next week. Help it, Roy. I miss you. Baby, when I get out of here, I'm going to make it all up to you. Everything's going to be just great. I know it is. How's Kathy? Oh, she's just wonderful, Roy. She's so good. Does she miss her dad? Well, you know she does. Oh, oh look. She made this painting for you in school. What is this? Well, I, I don't know, honey. I think it's a house. Anyway, I spoke to the lawyers, Roy. They're very optimistic. This is a house? This doesn't look like a house. What do you mean? 
I don't know. You tell me. Does this look like a house to you? What is that orange stuff over there? What's that supposed to be? A lawn? Yeah, it's good to live in a house with an orange lawn. No, no honey. I, see, I think that's the driveway. That's a driveway? Honey, the lawyers think they can get your parole hearing moved up a month. Isn't that great? Okay, listen, if that's the driveway, all right, then where's the garage? Answer that, okay? Well, so there's no garage, Roy, so what? And what is this green thing over here? What's that supposed to be? Oh, wait, let me guess. A tree? <laughs> yes, it's a tree. Roy, look, if they can get your parole hearing moved up, yeah, then you can be home by trees. next Christmas. Yeah, square what? trees. They're real cool. Yeah, they're real big now. Square trees, you know? I see them on the boulevard all over the place. Square trees. Roy, will you stop it? Oh, yeah, you're right. I shouldn't say anything. Yeah, I got a daughter that paints square trees. I'm not supposed to say anything. Roy, she's eight years old. She's your daughter. She made it for you. She never said she could paint. Then why paint? I can't play the flute. You don't see me going around playing the flute, do you? You know why? Because I can't play. That's why. Give it back to me, Roy. <laughs> no, you'll just go home and put it up on the refrigerator. I don't want this disgusting thing on my refrigerator. Well, you're not going to give me back the painting? Nah. Well, all right then. I'll just get the guard. Oh boy, he get the guard. Paint. Hank. Yeah, what's going on? Nah, not much. I can't complain. Uh, Roy's uh, wife wants a painting back. All right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Good looking painting. Thanks. Did you call that a painting? I didn't know you could paint. Oh, yeah, it's a hobby. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, you know, I do it to relax. Yeah, I wish I had some kind of hobby. What's the story here, huh? Roy, give it back to him. Oh. Go on. Here, here's his stupid painting back. Thanks, Roy. Hey, give me that lipstick for a sec. Give me that lipstick. Here, you want to see what a tree looks like? I'll show you, okay? Here, look. See, this is a tree, okay? It's round, you understand? It's got branches coming out, it's got leaves, all right? It's not square. What does she live in, the bizarre world or something? Come People on. do not paint square on. trees today. Tell her get a John Nagy right. or something. What kind of stupid imbecile is Frank to paint square trees? The stupidest thing I ever saw in my life. Go home, sit down and paint. Make my music look for Uh, Dad, I'm sorry about the garter belt and panties. It wasn't my idea, uh, but it almost was my idea. Steve Fober, thanks. You were terrific. And uh, sweet dreams, everybody. Good night, Sue. Thanks again. Good night.